Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Services Integration Framework. In today's session, we will see a next API that is Merge API. Merge APIs is used to merge the records which are matching or the merge candidates. So API names for this API, uh, a Merge API comes with the two classes, Merge Request and Merge Response. So let's have a look on the characteristics of the Merge API. It is used to merge two base object records that, ha that have been identified as representing the same object. Not necessarily those are match and ready for the merge. We can merge those uh, merge individual record also which are having the consolidation indicator for also. So without running tokenization or without running match job, we can merge those records as well. State management, if the record is, if the base object is enabled for the state management and in such case, record in any state can be merged together. Maybe like active or rec uh, pending and active, deleted and active, but the result will vary. To merge two or more records in a single operation, use the multi-merge request API. So using the merge API, we can merge only one record. If as per the business requirement, you need to merge multiple records, then use the multi-merge API, multi-merge request API. Let's consider the one of the state management condition where you're going to, or you're trying to merge the pending record. So pending record as the target of a merge, in that case, what will happen? If your source record is active record and target record is pending record, what will happen? If both records being merged together are pending, that means source is pending, also the target is pending, then the records are merged as a normal. So the record will get merged properly. And the So if the pending target record is merged with, with an active or deleted source record, the source uh, the target and source records are automatically swiped. So pending record become the source and the active or deleted record become a target. <clears throat> Input parameters. The required parameters are Cyperian object UID that could be a base object or package name. Then we have the set source record key we have to pass the record key. The record that will be merged into the target. That means suppose there are two records, one with a source key one and second with source key two. If you set source record key as a one and the target record key as a two, then the record one will be merged into record two. Target record key, uh, it, is to re uh, it is a record that will be survived of the merge means that will be the winner in that case roid that is the roid object of this record is the roid object of the merge record other fields in the base object are based on the trust configuration so we know the trust survivorship it is not necessary the winning record will survive all the fields all the the field win winnership will be decided based on the trust configuration optional parameters the optional parameter is task id and if we specify this optional parameter and the match table record associated with the merge being performed, that means you are performing the merge operation after running the match job. And uh, so that is if the specific, uh, if this uh, task ID is specified and the match table is uh, match table record associated with the merge being performed is contains the specified value, the task will be marked as a close. So if you are doing the task management, then if you're using the task ID in this request, the task ID will be marked as a deleted. In all other cases, any task associated with the record being merged will be marked as a obsolete. That means you are doing merging of this record and the record is, uh, the task is associated with such record and you're not performing the match job. In that case, such task will be marked as a obsolete. The sample code, 
we have the merge request we have to create instance of the merge request using new operator on the request we have to set the package name it should be port enable then thus we have to set the source record key which record you want to uh, source to be record to be merged and the target record the winner record and you have to call the cyperin client clients process method by passing this request so this is the theoretical part let's uh, see what are the configuration details we need to do so in order to present this demo we need to create one table so we have already created one table name with the purse have the column row id object first name last name and ssn then we have created one package name of package is pkg put purse it is put enable that means we can use the uh, it 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 update kind of uh, queries we can do on this package if you see the queries it is based on the purse table which is state management enable let's see whether it is state management enable or not if you see the timeline it is dynamic timeline that means the state man management is enabled for this record now these are the minimum configuration we need to make at the mdm app side let's check the data now so in order to check i already logged into the database and this is the purse base object table let me do the refresh to get the latest record so in the base object i could see the record search uh, having the row id object one two three four five and some more and the corresponding first name last name ssn values are also populated if you consider the case suppose let's try to merge record one and two okay so one having the name first name as a tom and the last name as a bill with the source system as crm the second record the with row id object two has the first name as a tom and second name also the last uh, last name also the bill and the source system is also crm however their ssns are different by looking at the first name and last name we could conclude that these are the more or uh, those record need to be merged so let's try to merge this record so we will treat one as a source and target will be two but of course this decision will be taken by the data steward in real time scenarios but here we will take the decision and we will make one as a source and two as a target so let's try to write one code so for writing or by using the merge api we have created one class called as merge api class it has the main method in the main method we are initializing the cyprint client by using the cyprint client pool and then we have created one instance of merge api by using new operator on that merge api object we are calling the merge record that is the merge record is the private method of this merge api class so we can go to this merge merge record method in this merge record method we have created instance of merge request request we are setting in the request we are setting the package name one which you have just saw in the mdm hub the package name you can copy from this a physical name pkg underscore put underscore purse then in the source we are setting the record one and target we are setting two so if you see the row id object one and two are available so we are going to merge this record together we have set these two records in the request and the request is passed to the cypen client's process method once process once the method uh, once this process is successful it will return the message whether the merge is successful or not in order to run this class you have to just right click and run as a java application because it is java application straightforward and i got the message merge was successful but but by getting this message it is not enough we will validate the record in the database side so in order to validate go to the cb purse table i'll just do the refresh you can try the select query also now you can see the no uh, the row id object one is disappeared that means it becomes a xf record so we can check particularly uh, the, what are the xf record for the row id object two in order to verify the record is really merged in order to verify that go to the mdm hub data manager 
and you can set up a search here by using base object as a purse pack put package as pkg put purse and do the search now we know that uh, we could not see here the raw id object one so we will just select two because we already merged that and in the raw id object two uh, base object we can see it's a cross reference in the cross reference i could see two record one with original raw id object as a one and uh, which is now become a raw id object as a two after merging so by this way we can merge the one record using the merge api if you have the business requirement to merge the multiple record then you have to use the multi merge api i hope this tutorial will definitely help you to write or to use the merge api in your custom code thank you for watching my video and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the informatica mdm have a nice time